Hi, my name is Satyajit Patnaik and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we shall be talking about a very important question. Is maths important for data science? And if yes, to what extent? So in this video, we shall be learning about this topic that how much maths do we need for data science and analytics? We already know that mathematics and statistics are quite required to excel in the field of data science and analytics. But under the data science umbrella, there are a lot of job options. There are a lot of career options. So we'll be discussing about each of the career options, which option is good for freshers. And then do we need maths or not? So let's get started. So data science and analytics is a, it's a, it's a broader term. It's a huge umbrella. And under this umbrella, there are multiple career options. Many people think data science is all about AI. Well, it's not true. To some extent, it could be true, but not fully. So talking about data science and analytics, if I talk data science and analytics is the entire umbrella, under that there are many sub career options. So there are options like applied scientists, options like machine learning engineers, data scientists, data analysts, data engineers. And each one of them is completely a different career job path. So what exactly are each one of them? I'll just give you a quick glimpse. But in case you want to know more about it, there is a video on my channel which you can go through in this particular I button where you will get more ideas about the different career options. Now applied scientists are someone who work on the model building part from scratch. And same goes with machine learning engineers. Now in data science, there are already so much pre-trained models. Now, what does a data scientist do? A data scientist is very good at business understanding. He is very good at the model building part as well. He knows what the data is telling me and he uses his experience in the pre-trained model and then prepares some output out of it. Machine learning engineers are someone who are more into the model building part. They also do pre-trained models. Apart from that, they also do mod custom models from scratch and they are more programmatic. So a machine learning engineer should always have very in-depth experience or knowledge on Python or any of the programming languages and a strong background of statistics and mathematics. Talking about applied scientists, they are someone who do deep level of research work in the field. So again, statistics and mathematics is going to be important for applied scientists. Now talking about data analysts, data analysts are ones who just deal with the data analysis part. They take care of the data collection part, then they analyze it. So statistics and mathematics is important, of course, to each and everyone, but to some extent, data analysts should not have a vast experience on statistics and mathematics. Minute level of knowledge is enough for the data analysis part. So talking about mathematics, well, very less mathematics is required for data analysis. Now talking about data engineers, data engineers, somehow people say that it's not a part of data science and analytics, but I would recommend data engineering to be a subfield of data science and analytics because when a company starts, when the digital transformation starts, it's all about the pipeline creation, the end to end pipeline creation, ETL, uh, transformation of data, talking about big data technologies and all those things. So data engineering is also a very vital career path. So for data engineering, you don't need mathematics or statistics. So in a nutshell, Mathematics and statistics is required for people who are into machine learning engineering roles, NLP engineering roles, data scientist roles. For data analyst roles, the requirement is not that high. For data engineers, it's not required. So this is a very important question. Many freshers ping me on LinkedIn and every now and then they ask me, sir, what is the best option for us to get started with? In case you want to 
pursue a career in the field of data science and analytics now well, there are different categories of people i'll talk about two categories the first one is one who are into the programming background or coding background people who are coming from computer science background it background people like them who are very good at programming or at least they are sound they can definitely choose a machine learning path or the data science path which means they can be a very good machine learning engineer of course they need to learn machine learning they need to learn basics of data analysis they should be aware of nlp and deep learning concepts but machine learning is a better option machine learning engineer nlp engineer or some sort of computer vision engineer or a junior data scientist role is also fit where mathematics and statistics is required so for people coming from programming background yes mathematics is going to be a must and you can apply for these kind of roles now the second category of people are people who are coming from non pack programming backgrounds now non programming backgrounds means they are coming from mechanical engineering or chemical engineering or any other streams or maybe bca or some sort of other streams who are very not so good in programming i wouldn't say they are poor in programming but they are not that good in programming of course they can learn programming they can learn python and they can get started but a better career option for them will be a data analyst or a business analyst role why because it has less involvement in the machine learning part and more in the data analysis part so tech stacks wise you might have to learn basics of python which is very simple just 3 4 hours of basics of python and you will be good in that little bit of statistics like probability some sort of hypothesis testing basics of mean median and mode and then you can go through uh, different concepts like excel and you need to know about some of the bi tools either power bi or tableau either one of them is going to be good enough now this is a important question as well how much math each category needs to learn now talking about applied ai scientists or applied scientists or people who are into the machine learning engineering roles nlp engineering roles and deep learning engineering roles which means they want to work more on the model building part they want to create custom models they want to use pre trained models and they want to create some sort of you know predictive analytics model for them statistics and mathematics is going to be very important because data science and all these algorithms nothing statistics is the back end it's it's the skeleton right without which you cannot implement these models so mathematics and statistics are must in case you ask me which topics will be good enough to get started with well i'll talk about topics like probability theory calculus linear algebra hypothesis testing uh central tendency and some sort of normal distribution standardized normal distribution these are the topics which are going to be very important if i missed any topics probably write down in the comment section below apart from that talking about roles like data analyst so for a data analyst statistics and mathematics are not must but i recommend people to know about the basics of it so of course the same topics which i told earlier same but the basics of it not in depth knowledge in depth knowledge of probability cumulative probability and all these things are not required basics of probability basics of mean median mode basics of standard deviation variance little bit of z scores normal distribution all these are good how to handle missing values so these are the topics which are going to be required for people who are aiming for data analysis roles for data engineering as i already told you that statistics and mathematics is not mandatory so that's all about this particular video uh, this is a new type of video i'm shooting i hope you enjoyed it please like share and subscribe the channel if you haven't done it yet press the bell icon to get notified on my future videos thank you signing off bye bye